This video is an introduction to the analysis system. Whenever the DIAC system is used, it is first characterized by attaching the VOC to the DIAC. Once the VOC is attached to the DIAC, the DIAC responds and the VOC track software depicts an increase in the concentration of VOCs over time. Once the VOC is removed from the DIAC and the DIAC is taken apart, the VOC concentration level decreases. This is an image of a characterization run where a VOC is attached to the DIAC and the concentration is allowed to reach about 1000 ppm. Once a characterization run is completed, it is then analyzed with the characterization system. Here the information for the characterization run is entered, including the temperature, pressure, and names of the trial runs. Once the information is entered, the system automatically gathers the data and compiles it into a useful set of information. This information set includes the flux rate and its change in accordance to the concentration of VOCs in the DIAC. This is used to determine the flux rate into the DIAC while a felt is in the DIAC. This is an example of an isotherm run, which includes a felt in the DIAC connected to a VOC vial for a long period of time. Once an isotherm run is completed, it is then analyzed using the analysis system. Similar to the characterization system, the information from the isotherm is entered into the analysis system, including the temperature, pressure, and start and end time along with the starting mass of the felt. Once the information is entered, the information is then compiled and processed by the analysis system. The result is a set of graphs depicting the absorption capacity of the felt. A quick check of the system is to take the start and end mass of the felt and find the difference. This difference should roughly correspond to the mass indicated at the bottom of the total micrograms absorbed by the felt in the following column. 